We're in the Mozambican capital of Maputo today where we have found out that the ZANU guerrillas led by Mr. Robert Mugabe has started to have border raids on the northeastern part of Rhodesia, which is now Rhodesia, Zimbabwe. It is the 1980s, 1979 to be exact, but at the end of the year. We have now have footage and people on the ground saying that the ZANU uh, party leaders, ZANU PL or ZANU Patriotic Front, PF, sorry, that they have some people on the ground. Now, Mozambique has been a colony of Portugal for uh, since the 1600s. Portugal has fought wars and numerous decades for Portugal fighting it inland to get the shape that it has today. With the Estado Novo coming into power in the 1930s and 40s, Portugal laid claim to Mozambique and actually fought a war to hold on to Mozambique. Now in the Cold War era, Mozambique has become independent and is one of the four African countries in Africa that has shed Portugal's provinces system in the recent years. Mozambique has gained independence in 1974 and 1975 with the dismantling of the Estado Novo and has been helping the ZANU and ZANLA and even the ZAPU PF to fight for the liberation of Zimbabwe or Rhodesia, Zimbabwe. Now we go on the ground to see what it is like in Mozambique and what has become of Mr. Robert Mugabe and what is on the ground currently in Maputo. Now we're going in for a special nightly news report on the ground with cameras on and we're going to see how ZANU and ZAPU are fighting for the liberation of Zimbabwe, Rhodesia. Anyway, ENN News, we're going to Africa, Mozambique. Salisbury, Zimbabwe, Rhodesia, the 6th of September, 1979. The military headquarters of Zimbabwe, Rhodesia announced today that its forces were staging a major land and air attack into Mozambique against troops of the installations of the Mozambique Army as well as black guerrillas based there, ZANU and ZAPU. While there have been raids in the past on the guerrilla bases in Mozambique and Zambia and even as far flung as Angola, this was the first time since the war began a decade ago that Salisbury had announced cross-border attacks directed against regular troops of the neighboring black rural country of Mozambique. The operation, which began yesterday and continues today, came a few days before the British-sponsored Constitutional Conference of and on Zimbabwe Rhodesia, which opened in London on Monday. Threats of incursion cited. Military headquarters said that the attack had been decided on because of the threat of the insurrections and the incursions by the Mozambican troops. Sportsmen said Mozambique's regulars had been accompanying guerrillas on sabotage and reconnaissance missions, and a communique said that the aim of the current attacks made into Mozambican southern province of Gaza, yes, was to destroy the buildup of integrity of integrated forces of the Mozambican army and the Rhodesian Zimbabwe guerrillas, and to restrict several and severely their plans for any joint operation. The communique said that the attackers had killed a significant number of guerrillas and Mozambican troops. The military said one Rhodesian soldier was killed when a government helicopter was shot down yesterday, but it did not disclose how many troops, planes and helicopters were being used in the operation. The Salisbury government's communique was issued after the Mozambican radio had reported that helicopter-borne troops were crossing the border escorted by French-built Mirage fighters. The broadcast said that the attackers had killed some civilians along the Limpopo River in Gaza province, but it mentions no casualties among the Mozambican troops. According to the communique, according to the communique, the first stage of the operation carried out yesterday was intended to wreck the supply lines of the joint Mozambican guerrilla force in the Bagram area in the Limpopo River, about 200 miles inside of the border. Five roads and rail bridges were listed as destroyed. Joint headquarters called target. In today's action, the communique said, 
The Rhodesian forces destroyed what was described as a joint barrage and brigade headquarters for the Mozambican army, and the guerrillas as well as the armory fuel dumps and radio stations in Mozambique. These installations were all said to have been in the Mapai, about 50 miles across the border. Salisbury troops also reports attacks of a combined Mozambique forced guerrillas based at the Malvrina near the border. Bishop Bishop Abel T. Muzawawe, or Muzawawe, the Prime Minister of Zimbabwe Rhodesia, told the Senate today that the operations in Mozambique was the most important ever launched in defense of Zimbabwe Rhodesia. The Prime Minister is scheduled to leave tomorrow for talks in London. The guerrillas are also due to represent and be represented in London. Today's communique said that the Mozambican operations are intended to prevent a buildup of material far in excess of purely defensive military requirements. Today's communique said that the Mozambican operation was intended to prevent a buildup of material far in excess of purely defensive military requirements. The statement also accused the Prime Minister of Mozambique, Mr. Samora Machel, of aiding the guerrillas in an attempt to, to shorten the war. The scale of the fighting has increased markedly in the last two weeks, presumably as Zimbabwe, Rhodesia and the guerrillas maneuver for a bargaining strength before the conference and to decide the fate of Zimbabwe or Rhodesia. Aim to help to split guerrillas. Aim help. Aim hell to split guerrillas. The analyst suggested that attacking Mr. Mugabe's forces in Mozambique at this time could actually increase the pressure on him to take a hard line against any settlement at the London talks and thereby add to his differences with Mr. Nakomo, who is believed to be more eager for a negotiated solution following a series of military and political setbacks in recent weeks. Last week, Zimbabwe Rhodesian jets pounded guerrilla targets in Zambia, which is on the other nightly news channel. But Salisbury security forces have staged about 20 raids against the guerrillas this year in neighboring countries and even as far flung as Angola. The current operation was the 10th raid into Mozambique and the second since Bishop Muzarawe took power and took head of the government on the 1st of June 1979 in the white dominated. South African uh, Rhodesian Parliament. Anyway, back to you. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. Long live Zimbabwe. Will you want Zanu to win or will you want Zanu? Zanu or Zapu? Anyway, I will leave it up to you. This has been a nightly news downdate and I'll see you next time. This has been ENN coming from you live or recorded. Pre record. Yeah, recorded. Pre recorded. Yeah. Anyway, hope you enjoyed, ladies, gentlemen, and B. I learned something, and I'll see ya next time. Ungambe, ungamba mbuwe. Later. Organiza o nosso qualquer Aquela que produz E alimenta os combatentes É a mulher moçambicana emancipada E destrói as forças da opressão Quem é? Aquela que mobiliza E organiza o nosso qualquer Aquela que produz E alimenta os combatentes É a mulher moçambicana emancipada e destrói as forças da opressão Lutando com firmeza contra as ideias Ignorância, escuradismo, poligamia ou louvor Levando no olhar a certeza da vitória Sabendo que a vitória se constrói com sacrifício Quem é? Aquela que é do alto, o farol da liberdade Quem é? E grita ao mundo inteiro que a nossa luta é mesmo É a mulher moçambicana emancipada e traz um povo no seu coração. Quem é? Aquela que é do alto.
A política do povo Que deve ser vivida Difundida a noite e dia Avante o sambicano Avante Homens e mulheres Avante o sambicano Avante Homens e mulheres Na unidade e no trabalho e vigilância Venceremos a exploração
Mosambique, na 